Hello everyone, today I will show you how to make your own weekly planner on Pwn by using Canva. Let's go! First, you need to download Canva on App Store for iOS and Play Store for Android. After Canva is 100% is downloaded on your phone, you have to open the application and sign up for free. After you sign up, you click the plus icon and also click the custom size and click mobile video. Next step, you have to click tags. After that, you type down weekly planner and also you can change the color and the font. Next up, you have to click elements and type down memo square and you are free to choose what memo square you want. To use. Next up, you can click the plus icon and click tags, and also you can click soap heading for the soap heading tags for the day, example Monday until Sunday. And also you can add some note. Next up, you have to search for dot on elements for you to write down your note. Next. You can search for anything you would like to add on your weekly planner by searching on the elements. For me, I search for purple because I want some purple things on my weekly planner. After you decorate it, you can save the image and also make it as your wallpaper on your phone. And voila! Your weekly planner is ready to use. I hope this video can help you to make your own version of your weekly planner. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helps you to make your own weekly planner by using Canva. Hi everyone, my name is Flora Febiandri and I'm from Volta class and today I'll be teaching you how to upload a story and put them on your highlight without people noticing. First, you go to your story and choose a photo that you want to upload to put on your highlight. You can add captions or emojis just like what I did here. Then you uploaded your story. Wait until it's done uploading and then you just need to delete it as quickly as possible and then this notification is going to pop up. We need to wait for 24 hours to be able to put this story on our archive. You can check your recently deleted story by going to your profile and click these three bars and go to your activity and scroll down until you find recently deleted and you can see your deleted story. You can restore it for 30 days before it disappears. We'll check on this after 24 hours. Okay guys, it has been 24 hours and as you guys can see, it is 29 days left. So the next step, you go to the store that you want to restore and then click more and click restore. And this notification is going to pop up and then click restore. Then we go to archive and we can find our restored story. And then all you need to do is just click the highlight button, then click new or you can add it to the highlight that you already have and give it a name and done. It'll appear on your profile. I've done this before and it works. I hope this tutorial helps you and thank you. Do you need to hide your desktop when you're away from your MacBook so you can have more privacy? If yes, this aesthetically pleasing screensaver is the solution. To create this screensaver, you need to open your savory and then go to shop.greatvd.com. After that, you can choose your screensaver type that you want and I recommend you to choose the free one. Click add to cart and check out. Next, you will be redirected to contact information. You need to fill the contact information with the email that connects your MacBook and the valid billing address. After you finish it, you can continue to the payment. You can complete your order and you're 
father is being processed. Open the email that sent by the graffiti shop and then click the black button to access your downloads. Download the zip file of your screen server. If it has finished, you can continue to open the system preferences. Go to desktop and screen server. Open the file finder and install the screen server to your MacBook. Finally, the aesthetically pleasing screen server is then set up to your MacBook. How to edit photos without an application? First of all, open your gallery or photos app on your phone. Then choose which photos do you want to edit. If you have chosen, let's be started. Select the expose, then set it to minus 35. Next, the brilliance. Set the brilliance to 30. Then the highlights. Set the highlights to minus 40. Yeah. 45 for the shadows. Now the contrast. Set it to minus 50. And last but not least, the brightness. Set it to 30. And you're done. Here's the difference. Hope you guys like it and thanks for watching.